What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, don't forget to smash the subscribe button because today we are talking about a brand new football game that launches tomorrow, UFL, right? Now listen, I have not tried the new UFL since the last beta, right? I know that there was an event, I'll get into that in a second, there was an event over in London um, that they did where they asked some content creators in. I genuinely feel and felt at the time of playing the beta that it needed a ton of work, right? So I'm going to be intrigued to see what it like launches with tomorrow. So the beta is going to be out tomorrow, the 28th. It's a seven-day early access period, similar to FIFA. The game is going to be free to play, but if you want the seven-day early access kicking off with the servers going live tomorrow, the 28th, you can actually fork out 15 quid or 12 pounds, whatever your currency is, and you will get seven days early access starting tomorrow. And it's also going to get you a couple of other bits and pieces, right? Now, they've also started to kind of step up their marketing and their promotional tour and what they've been talking about what the game is going to include as well and this is obviously just a little teaser trailer they are going to be doing an event tomorrow live streaming right where they're going to be launching the game officially i think it's at around six o'clock my time so whatever time zone that is i'm obviously in ireland but there is a kickoff show live event november 28th 18 cet uh, or 12 est 9 pst right so obviously that they're just going to be launching this tomorrow um, I think the, the seven day early access is going to be very, very like, I think it's genuinely going to give you the best idea as to like what the game is going to look like, right? We've had clips, we've had a couple of different bits and pieces. My thoughts on the game, boys, right? I, I feel like they're going for the FIFA S type of role, which I ordinarily wouldn't like. I mean, there's a reason why I kind of don't really play EAFC too much. And I don't even know, like, where it's come from. It's just because I've probably grown up with eFootball and the Pez series. But you can see in this trailer, which is an official trailer that they've released as an insider look behind the scenes. They're, you know, you can check this out on their official YouTube or whatever. But I still see a lot of the core issues with the game that I had in the beta. Um, in terms of the, like, kind of, like, animations and stuff like that. Now, there is obviously in this trailer, again... I'm not going to pretend that like eFootball or EAFC or whatever game of your choice. We can't pretend, lads, that there, there isn't big issues in every football game that's out at the moment, you know? But I just feel like that UFL still has a long way to go. It just depends what their journey is like, man. You know, Rome wasn't built in a day. It's not going to be a thing where, um, you know, the game is expected to come out and be absolutely insane. You know, game of the year, uh, you know, uh, potential, right? But if there's something there that they can develop onto and then work from there... Let's see what happens, because it is interesting. It is interesting to have another game enter the market and for it to be finally released. They've also released these brand new patch notes, right? Now, in saying all that, okay, I call it as it is, man, and I call it very, very blunt. If I don't like something in the game, I'll talk about it, man. You know, there's no point sugarcoating it, whether it's eFootball, EAFC, whether it's UFL. Yes, it's a beta. Yes, it's free to play. But still, you have to treat it as a fully fledged title if they're charging 15 quid for it, even if it's in early access. Connection issues, matchmaking, all that sort of stuff is not a problem um, because it's obviously going through the growing pains when they turn on the servers. That's not a problem, man. We don't have any issue with there being issues in the game. But in terms of the core fundamentals of the game, the passing, the shooting, the dribbling, the animations, um, if there's anything that can be abused, like in the beta, the finesse shots were completely broken in the first beta. In the second beta, they were toned down a little bit, but there was a lot of emphasis on tapbacks and sweating it across the goals, similar to FIFA, uh, the older FIFA titles. I don't know, does this still happen because I don't really play FIFA uh, or EFC? But they've talked about a lot of patch notes since um, the beta, and this is going to be in the early access tomorrow, right? So they talk about pass reception, pass interceptions, passing and shots there's loads of stuff to go through here i'm not going to make a 20 minute video going through the you know the the all the bells and whistles on this right they talk about goalkeeper positioning and their behavior on corners player movement increased speed of movement of turns especially for sharp turns that reads to me the only way from what i've ever talked whenever I, ever i've been lucky enough to talk to developers developing sports games the only way that you can make the game more responsive is to increase the speed and anything else you just can't do it because you either have to make shortcuts with the animations and, you know, reduce the inertia of the, of the player movement and, in, and, and cut a couple of animations or you have to improve, improve the actual speed or in, increase the speed. And that speeds up the game automatically. Players without the ball are now slightly faster than those with the ball, enhancing game mechanics and dynamics, improved responsiveness, players react faster. Again, there's that word, faster, more, making controls more comfortable, fix the animation bugs to ensure smoother and more synchronized movement goalkeepers 
There's a lot of stuff here, man. Active defending. So the big thing that this game has is active and passive defending. So I reckon the AI is going to just position themselves, which is like in the beta. Then if you manually want to control the players into defending, you can do that. I thought the defending was very, very, very poor in the first uh, beta. The second beta was a little bit better, but positioning-wise, the players were kind of poor as well. But again, this is going to be a work in progress, the same as any other video game that comes out now that's free to play, right? So I do feel like all of this stuff that they're talking about here, they talk about logic for divisions and leaderboard progressions, player interactions, physical connection, all that, right? So it's going to be interesting, man. It's going to be very, very interesting how this game actually feels. I think that with all of this, they can write an essay or 10 essays or 10 pages or 10 websites full of stuff, right? There's tons of stuff if you haven't played the beta that they've improved or if you have played the beta they've improved upon. But let me know what you guys think. As I said, we are going to stream it tomorrow. We're going to have a look at it tomorrow and see what the crack is with the game. I did play it before um, uh, with the beta. We did have, obviously, um, you know, the game played before and we played a lot of it. I think I had a fairly long stream on it. But let me know. Are you open to another football game? I mean, for me, I'm, I'm going to treat it as every other football game. I try the AFC. I've, I play eFootball. E-football has lots of issues, EAFC has lots of issues, I've no doubt UFL is going to have lots of issues, but it's about being able to see past those issues and have a bit of fun, because video games are meant to be fun, I mean I think a lot of people forget that, you know, there's going to be things that can be abused, there's going to be things that are good and bad about the game, same as every video game, but we'll try it tomorrow, if it's for us, we have another video game to play and enjoy, if it's not for us, there's nothing to be lost by trying it, so Let's see what, well, 15 quid, but let's see what happens tomorrow. But let me know what your guys' thoughts are. Is it dead on arrival for you? Are you going to give it a go? Are you looking for something a bit fresh? There's a lot of other stuff that they talk about here um, that we'll be able to see tomorrow what happens, right? They're obviously going to be bringing new players, new ambassadors, seasonal updates, all that sort of stuff that they're working on here. Uh, maximum speaker volume, all that sort of stuff is not really that important, but they're talking about new skins, new equipment, new stadiums, refined lighting, a lot of stuff like that, right? So let me know what you guys think. I'll see you guys tomorrow. We'll try it out and I'll talk to you then.